Okay. Let's say you pressure test the cooling system. First thing you're going to need is a pressure test, <coughs> coolant pressure test setup. Now this is a Matco. You can get these from any auto parts store as a Lona tool. They come with all your adapters. Uh, you just need to select the proper adapter for your vehicle since this is a vent line. This adapter has a o-ring that slides down into the neck down in here and seals below that vent line that way you don't lose pressure out the vent you just screw that in hand tight connect your pump however it happens to connect with your kit and start pumping it up now this system is a if you look at your radiator cap 15 PSI system. Some of them just give it to you in, in uh, BAR uh, metric, but this this one is not set up for metric, but uh, our other one is if I needed it. And it's just a matter of pumping it up to the recommended PSI or the system PSI, and then letting it sit and seeing if it bleeds down. And if it is bleeding down, you've got a leak that you need to find. Now, if you have coolant in the system, which I do not, it pumps up much faster. But right now I have to compress all the air that is in this cooling system. Because I did an intake gasket on this vehicle and I just finished putting a radiator in it and I didn't want to refill the system if I had an obvious leak. Now I'm going to take this up to 16 even though it's a 15 psi system i'm going to take it up to 16 so i'm right even on that line and i don't know if you can see it but we got her almost come on get there We're right there on the line now I'm going to put the front of the car back together. I'm just going to let it sit. And I do have one small leak in one of my heater hoses where I had to take it off to do the intake, which is normal. It's very minor, and once that hose heats up and cools down once or twice, it should seat on there. Um, it's just a matter of of uh, getting the hose soft so we can actually form to the fitting. So while that sits there with pressure on it for a minute, I'll bring it back to the front, and you can watch me finish uh, finish assembling the vehicle. Alright, well, we'll come back to our pressure test again. I had to bleed pressure off to stop a leak. Okay, so what you just saw, I had to bleed off pressure earlier to fix a leak in one of the heater hoses. And now I just repressurize, or I'm repressurizing the system. And then I let it sit for probably 15 to 20 minutes while I was doing the thing, putting the front of the vehicle back together, um, getting the new coolant ready to go in. And you want to let it sit. That way you can see if you have any other slow leaks. Now, generally with one of these pressure tester tools, it doesn't matter um, where it comes from, who's it, whose it is, you are going to lose a little. They don't always seal perfectly. Um, that's normal. So keep in mind, uh, if you lose one or two pounds over 20 minutes, that's nothing necessarily to worry about. 
Um, and as, as you'll see here in just a second, when I show you the, the gauge before I take it off, um, you know, we didn't lose much, maybe a pound. So that's completely acceptable. Um, like I said earlier, you can get these pressure testers as a loan tool from any auto parts store. And if you look at your radiator cap, um, you want to find the adapter that matches up to what your radiator cap looks like. That way when it screws in, it seals. Um, that's the best way to describe it. If you have one that takes a standard radiator cap, like one of the older style metal caps, the actual piece on the pressure tester unit itself will snap over that. Now, this section of video I did speed up quite a bit so you didn't have to sit through the whole process of waiting for it to bleed down. But you get the general idea. Now, you can use this diagnostic procedure to check and see if you have a cooling system issue and you're losing antifreeze. You can pressure test it to see where the leak is coming from while the system is cool. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope this helped you learn something. Uh, right here, I'm going to show you where it bled off to. Uh, in the meantime, do me a favor, click the thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel. I need to pick up a lot more subscribers. So share this video with people, ask them to subscribe for me, and uh, now I'm just going to bleed the pressure off, pull a vacuum on the system, and refill it. Have a nice day.